This is an old sycamore tree growing in the grounds of Spears near B, the North Ayrshire. Quite apart from the circumference, the scales on the tree, which form on the older specimens, they are dropping off onto the ground. They form compost, so they help the plant life. But further up in this specimen, there's something much more unusual. This is an inosculated tree. The word osculate means kissing. So here, the tree has divided into two vertical trunks. One trunk has produced a branch, which has grown across, made contact with the other. At that point, it is fused with it. And classically, the section beyond has died off. The dead stump of the branch can be seen. Now, this feature uh, is used by gardeners, so they're, if you like, grafted together to produce some very unusual shapes, some bizarre and quite wonderful shapes. There are some websites that show the result of this deliberate inosculation. They're sometimes called husband and wife trees because it looks rather like a husband with his arm round his wife's shoulders. Some of them have become well-known landmarks standing out on the side of, of major roads. One example made from blackthorn in an old farmer's garden, what is now an abandoned cottage, has blackthorn tied together in a heart shape. It appears to be a romantic gesture on behalf of the farmer to his wife. What is even more unusual is for two trees of different species to grow together. That is extremely rare. Beech trees do this to, to a quite a high degree. The way the beech branches grow out horizontally in large numbers, even at re reasonably low level to the ground, quite frequently come across inosculation occurring naturally. <laughs>